If there's anything you should know about me, it's that my absolute favorite things to do are traveling to new places and trying new cuisines and restaurants. I love meeting new people, exploring new cultures, talking about food and entrepreneurship, and sharing all of these new experiences and everything I learned along the way with you guys. In today's video, I'm taking you to Trinidad, where my love for food was born. Hey guys, welcome to a new day and a new vlog. Today we're going to be doing another Trinidad vlog. I have a whole adventure to take you all on today. Definitely more of a foodie adventure, but the clips are kind of here and there and everywhere. So I just wanted to do a little voiceover situation where I actually get to talk to you guys. It's been so long since I picked up this camera and actually got to talk to you all like one on one. So hi i'm in a different location if you've been following on instagram you'll know that i'm in st thomas i've been here for three weeks so far um this is my last week here actually then i'll be back in st croix but it's been a really good time here i'm going to give you guys a full update because a lot of things have been changing there have been a lot of changes okay <laughs> but i'm gonna give you guys an update in another video but for now let's just get into all of the trinidad content so that you guys can have all of that i think maybe i'll have like one more video after this that's also Trinidad content and then we're going to move on to my New York Jersey DC content and then we'll be caught up I'm really sorry that it's been taking me so long to get these videos out but thank you for sticking with me and for subscribing shout out to all the new subscribers you guys helped me to reach my goal of a thousand subscribers and now we still just keep growing so very happy that you all are here and yeah let's let's talk a little bit about today in this vlog we start off by going to one of our newest favorite Chinese places. So the first place that we're going to in today's vlog is Food Time, which is a new Chinese place to my family. Um, basically, my uncle tried it one day and said it tasted pretty good. Um, and it was pretty similar to one of our like top Chinese places in Arima. So we decided to go to this one. This Chinese place is actually in Aruka. We passed through Aruka on the main road pretty often during this trip just because we had uh, lots of business to do and it was on the way. We stopped by food time a couple times and the food was consistent, pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna roll those clips so you guys can see what we got and how everything was. We just picked up some Chinese food and Chinese food in Trinidad is probably the best Chinese food that I've had out of all the countries that I've visited. Um, we got chicken Chinese style, chunky veg, um, lo mein and fried rice in here. Adriel and I got the same thing and we also got chicken and shrimp fried wontons. This is what they look like. These are my favorites, especially the shrimp. So we got both of them so we could try both of them out because this is a new Chinese restaurant that we're trying. Very excited to eat. actually in the evening after running those errands like I said so it was really nice to end it off with some really good comforting food I think I probably said it in this video but Chinese food in Trinidad is the best Chinese food that I've had <laughs> The next day, um, my aunt had a bunch of errands that she needed to go run and she didn't want to take Adriel and I with her because she thought that we would be bored. So they actually left us at Trinity, um, which is one of the malls that's closest to us. So we took the day to just walk around. We didn't do too much shopping, but really we just got some snacks and just walked around and you know what else do you do at a mall there are actually a good bit of chain restaurants like american chain restaurants in trinidad literally more than there are in st croix and st thomas so i'm jealous but it was nice to have those things because i hadn't had them in a while and yeah it was just it was a nice day of just like snacking on little things and hanging out with adriel while we waited for my aunt and carolyn to come back to pick us up Hello everyone, 
happy Monday. Um, Adriel and I are at, oh I can't, can't with this mask, but Adriel and I are at Trinity Mall, which is the closest mall to where we are and the one that we've come to the most often, I think. There are a couple more malls like West Mall, um, Long Circular Mall, what other ones? There's Grand Bazaar, which is an outdoor mall, Ellesley Plaza. But yeah, we normally come to Trinity pretty often. And we're just walking around while Justin is doing some errands today. So we're gonna walk around, show you around, come have fun with us. This is actually good. I hope it's spicy. Adriel and I are at the food court. We just ate some Popeyes. I still prefer KFC over the Popeyes. But we're gonna go find something to do until Justin is done with her errands. And I think we're gonna go into this local bookstore to see if we could find some books by some local, local authors. And there was a book that I'm pretty sure I had in the past or that I know that I had in the past. I have no idea where it is, so I might rebuy it if I see it, depending on the price. So, let's go. We got the Popeyes and I probably will never spend my money on Popeyes there again. It just really was not as good as like KFC or like Royal Castle or something like that. Like it wasn't spicy and I had to have the sauce to make it like a little bit more spicy and it was kind of sweet. It just, it was not worth it. So, and I think it was more expensive than like getting KFC too. So honestly, if you go there, don't get it. Just stick to the things that we know, the things that are good. Okay, now we're moving on to the next day. I spent this day at the store. My family has a few businesses in Trinidad and one, one of them is a haberdashery store. So basically anything that you might need for like crafts, sewing, um, that kind of stuff. So I spent the day with my aunt there while she was working and while we were there My cousin actually went out and got some bacon shock for us Usually when we get it we go all the way to Maracas Because it just tastes the best and you get it fresh and you can eat it right there on the beach But they actually opened up a new location that's closer So she went to go get some and I have to say it just did not hit as it usually does and we did not get a chance to go to Maracas during this trip so this was really the only bacon shock that I got so you know that the first thing that I do when I go back is going to get some from the actual beach what my aunt was saying is that it's kind of hit or miss from this new place so she also prefers to just go down to the beach to get it but still she did a full explanation of all the things that they like all the different um, seasonings and sauces that they add on to it so you guys can check out the clips it actually looks really good like it tasted good a normal person eating it would like you would enjoy it but it's just not the same as getting it fresh off the beach so like it was good it just wasn't it's usual amazing this is all you have to have all of these sauces in your bacon chop <laughs> except the pepper of course <laughs> Tell the camera what all the other ones this are. This is shadow many sauce. Wait, I can see. This is shadow many sauce. Must have. This is garlic sauce. This is honey mustard. This is tamarin sauce. This is hot sauce. Pepper. Hot peppery sauce. This is ketchup. And I can't remember what this one is. Okay. But this is a must for bacon chop. All of these. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe pineapple too. Huh? They put pineapple in it. Yeah, they put, yeah. Mm -hmm. Both in here. This is now. Almond soul. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. The only thing I'm not gonna put is the pepper. Pepper. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Something, something else. The more I'll be here tomorrow. That's it for the video for today. Look out for the next video. There will be more food, more fun, more adventures in Trinidad. And look out for the rest of the videos in my little summer travel series. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like it. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.